My name is Ramsey, and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon Advanced Gungeons and Dragons. It's time to go with the pilot, my least favorite of all of the characters. Well, at least they got this badass bomber jacket. Let's go. Also, gonna go and talk to Mouse and Frifle just in case. Two more Agonizer before I pass over that mission. If this is a successful run, then we'll probably get to Agonizer. Let's grill. And see if there's anything more to buy. There is not. Of course there isn't. I checked at the end of the last episode. Let's go. It's time for the video games. Okay, so... The pilot. The pilot is one of the only characters, in fact it's literally the only character, uh, that I, by default, will try and pick up a weapon before I fight the first boss with. Because the pilot's pistol is garbage. It does uh, approximately zero damage. It is super inaccurate. It has no range whatsoever. Look at this. Oh, hang on. I'm going to have to clear out the room first because all these enemies keep getting in my way. It's stopping at my cursor. What the hell, man? you got to be so close to your enemies to fight them. And it doesn't even have, like, a huge clip size to make up for it or anything. It's just bad. As a direct result, we'll be looking for the first weapon we can get. I'll take anything, frankly. Whee! Now, its inaccuracy doesn't really matter when you're fighting a huge crowd, because if it misses one of them, guess what? It'll just hit a different one. So all's fair in love and war on that one. Nice try. Come on, and Oh, it only took almost three full clips. Beautiful. Now let's sit there, pop that all the way up. I don't think I'm going to go to the oubliette necessarily. What I will do is I'll use my lockpick, one of my starter items, as the pilot to get a 50% chance to unlock one of the locks that is preventing me from going to the Oubliette. And then I'll do that again. So basically, I have a 25% chance of going to the Oubliette. If it unlocks entirely for free, then sure, I'll go down. Because then that's just a ridiculous amount of value. It's, it's insane, in fact, to ignore that. But you know. Oh, gosh. It's actually probably this way, I guess. Uh-oh. Drop that on their heads. Hell yeah. Environmental kills for the win. People say for the win anymore. Is that still a thing? No? Okay, cool. Thanks for telling me. Next, you're going to tell me lolcats aren't in style anymore, and I'm just going to be real mad about it. But, of course, they still are. They just rebranded. It's now Doggos. I do get a little... on edge around Doggo speak. Like, who man, that kind of thing. Like, I love dogs, and it always accompanies a really cute picture or a video of a dog. And it is a little bit adorable, but it does give me the same kind of... Oh, God. I can't believe that I just rolled into that. But it does give me the same kind of feeling that I used to get from lolcats near the end of their primacy on the internet, which is it makes me cringe just a little. That's fine, though. Different strokes for different folks, y'all. Come on and die, book. Hell yeah. Back on that full HP grind. What have you got for me, friend? Oh, yes! The Ruby Bracelet. It's the best. If you like throwing. Oh, it's a double level pun because it increases the damage of thrown guns. And also, if you take it, you are throwing. All right. 
Find me a weapon. Mr. Gungeon. Find me a gun. Bum, 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 bum. Make it the fastest barrel that ever spun. Bum, 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 bum. Too many syllables in that last sentence there. It's the worst thing off of the top of my head since this hair. Look, I tried. That's the important bit. All right. Come on, Ed. The more gun knights I get, the better off and happier I am. Because the gun knight in the early game and late game and mid game and outside of the game as well is just an excellent gold farm. As long as you fight it without taking red HP damage, you will get a lot of money. Frankly, too much money. Okay. Well, I'm going to be opening both of these chests. Hopefully the green one's the gun. I'm disappointed. I got it correct, and I'm still disappointed. This is a really garbage gun. It will be able to kill the first floor boss, mind, but that's about it. Again, as I said in the last episode, I really... Ooh, hell yeah. Cheap keys. I really, really... I know the keys are cheaper, by the way, because I'm the pilot and I've got haggling. But... I don't know. I'm actually going to risk the lockpick on this, the dodgy lockpick for the 50% chance to open it or lock it forever. Fine. Hey, hey! Dueling pistol, regardless. Now... The reason that I kind of wanted to open that, despite the fact that it was blue and blue is pretty bad, is primarily, while I stall for time so I can dodge and think, is primarily due to the fact that the blue chest actives and passives contain a lot of speed ups, as I said in the last episode, and speed ups are good. The big thing that stops this weapon from being you know, reasonable is its ridiculously small clip size for its fire rate. It's just so low. You just reload like almost all of the time. I think I'm spending 50% of my time reloading here. That's just too much. Well, I got another gun at least. Not a good one though. We're getting a severe lack of good in terms of our itemry so far. Now, this is only the first floor. I can't call it one way or the other yet. Okay, well, if there's going to be a secret room here, it would have to be there, right? Because it can't come off of this wall, if I recall correctly. So, didn't work. Um, Wasn't adjacent to there. Wasn't adjacent to there. It could be directly there. Theoretically possible. Otherwise, I'll just go back and blank the shop just in case. It's not up on the top there. There's too many obstructions on the wall. All right, fine. If it's in the shop, I'm going to feel like a right fool. All right, fooled and saved. Hell yeah. It would cost 21 to get the other available key in that store, and we do not have that. We're just a little bit short. First time I've ever said that sentence. I am six foot four. Siren, and I actually, I will start using the siren here because I really, really hate the pilot space gun. Like, with a passion. Okay. Beauty. Just completely charge him down. Don't even give him the time of day. Okay, and you too, Beholstling. Easy. I might even try and pick up a weapon before I fight the boss on this floor because... Depends on who the boss is, but I I could... There are There is a boss, at the very least, on this floor that I would not feel comfortable just fighting with a mare gun. 
And that, of course, is the Ammo Conda. And the Door Mimic. Actually, the Door Mimic would be way worse. <laughs> oh god, Door Lord. Yikes. But yes, the Ammo Conda is, in my opinion, the hardest boss on this floor. So. Damn it. That was dumb. I thought it was. Oh! Oh! Or was it super clever? As long as I'm holding out the siren gun, I'm not going to take damage when I fall in a pit. Double vision's not bad. Ring of Mimic Friendship is garbage. Heavy Boots is garbage. I really do want to reduce the cost of that Nord Key, though, so I'm considering the possibility of just not doing anything with my money on this floor and just investing it entirely into the Nord Key, right? Effectively, I'm investing in, like, the overall long-term progression of this game rather than any instantaneous progression. Um, I'll roll the lockpick on this. God. I've rolled the lockpick three times, and it has failed exactly three times. It's a 50-50, so, you know, that's a 12.5% chance right there for it to have failed all three times. Boom, quick maths. Drop them, friends. Excellent. Just got to get that beholstling down literally as quickly as is humanly possible because its shots are just a wee bit harder to dodge than most. Because they just don't follow an elegant pattern. Whoa. Almost, buddy. Almost. Try harder next time. Catch your next fall. See, this is a shotgun, and a full blast of it is not enough to kill a shotgun... Uh, sorry, a shotgun kin. Uh, obviously, I don't mean a shotgun kin. I mean a... Not that. Bullet kin. There we go. Unless, of course, you knock them into the abyss. Then, you know... It is enough damage in that circumstance. Oh, that's a nice quality of life change. I think I've done it a couple times before, but I haven't noticed. You can roll over tables now. That's cool as hell. I dig it. I dig it a lot. Um. So in my original series, I would never do the D20 shrine. Just because it has the possibility of completely crippling you. But I'm already playing the pilot. Robbed and hasted. So I got lowered in terms of my money and my speed just got increased by like, I think 60% for the rest of the run. Cool. Uh, it looks like it actually also increased my firing rate. But, um, but I'm not entirely certain. Hang on. Yeah, it definitely increased my firing rate. Well, boy, howdy. Good thing I took that D20 shrine. Yeah, that... Actually, that fires around the same rate. Hmm. I don't know. I'm back to I don't know now. I figured it out. If I ever did drag, that would be my name. I don't know. Oh, sorry. I don't know. Was actually it. I haven't the jawline for it, though. Whee! Get him. <sighs> All right. Eh, not a mimic, apparently. Still a very garbage tier chest. I kind of don't want to risk opening it for garbage. Okay, that is now four. Four failures. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, at least with extra speed, this fight is going to become 
a whole lot simpler. Yeah, I'm... Woo! I actually did manage to kill that in time. Hell yeah. Come on and just make sure I kill the nubbins in time. Otherwise, the ammo conda will eat those nubbins and then it gets to regen some of its HP as well as speed up. And I would prefer it not to do either of those things. Hey, just killed the nubbin in time. Hell yeah. And then immediately had to dodge out of the way because that's how we roll. Literally. Got to change. No ammo. Got him. All right. Flame hands. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully it has some good synergies because we have just had nothing but garbage guns this entire garbage run. I'm I'm super tempted to like sell everything that I have and then just put as much money into that Nord keys, uh, key as is humanly possible. Definitely going to sell both of my junk. I mean, I'm not the robot, so I don't get a damage boost from them, and I don't have Sir Junkin. Sell that as well. Dueling pistol gone. I do feel slightly bad selling that, because what if I got a synergy for it later on? I feel like I should definitely take double vision. And the rest of my money can go onto the Nord Key. I feel like a large amount of the reason I have to take double vision is because our weapons are garbage, so we may as well get a good active. Just to try and help us out there. Right, and then that one. Uh-oh. Got him. <sighs> Perfect. Now find me a... One sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. There we go. Find me a shop or an item room. I have been hoarding keys this entire time because I keep rolling on the chests. But the thing is, a lot of the chests have been garbage. Just garbage tears. So it's not like I missed out on the world's best weaponry by not opening them. Well, I could have missed out on a sling, but still. Come on, and get him. Last one, Stone. Sure. Just gonna inspire me to take no damage ever again in this entire run. I'm saying that right now because I was expecting to immediately get proven wrong. It's typically how that goes. Alright. Gun muncher. I'm probably gonna munch two guns on this floor. Because not only do I have garbage weapons, I also have garbage amounts of ammunition for them. So I'll munch two guns when they empty out and are also bad. And then one more here. Goodbye. Now, when those spawn, they immediately spawn that orbital around them, so don't stand too close to that spawn if you can avoid it. It's the top one. Woo. You can kind of tell, I think, when they split. Otherwise, I just keep getting lucky, and I think it's some sort of a skill that I've trained. All right, we've only got 15 left in this shotgun. Set up Flame Hand as my ult. That is to say, alternate, not ultimate. I have no weapon that would qualify as ultimate yet. 
Hell, I have exactly zero weapons that I am happy to have. Okay, here's the shop. Frost bullets, I'd steal it if I could, but I can't, so I won't. Probably gonna have to use this as boss weaponry. You know how bad that feels? Come on. Oh, there's still an enemy left on the map. Whew. Got him. Don't pop my Guan Stone. On these veteran bullet kin are just oh absolutely nothing. It's this one. No, it's not. Never mind. I missed the split. I didn't look at it closely enough. That's my excuse, and I'll be uh sticking to that one if you don't mind. Let's see. Wait, did I just not take fire damage? Never mind. Huh. I was about to. Have to keep rolling to make sure that you're not going to take it, though. Now you stay down there, friend. Excellent. Whew. Just a breather before the boss. Let's see if that's the secret room. It's ah, never mind. It is there. It is pretty imperative by perfect bosses so that I can get that max HP up. So we'll be holding off on using a blank before the boss. All right. Okay, so one thing I've just learned is you can burn those webs on the ground and it spreads fire out from its point of origin. Got it, now I know it. I'll just file that away under possibly useful? Question mark. I have so many keys, I should just start opening these. Drill. Oh, doesn't, I think drill opens chests. I'm not certain. I believe this is from... Well, I believe it's from... It's definitely from the Payday update. And like I've said, I haven't played since the Payday update, so... No clue. Have not encountered this one before. It terrifies me to my core. If it works like it does in Payday, I have to assume what it is, is it... Yeah, it activates or it's activatable next to a chest. It act... It starts opening the chest, but it summons enemies. That seems like the case. Infuriating note, you've been had. Let's have a quick wee bit of a look at this. Some chests are red, but more of them blue. No matter what's in them, I'll steal it from you. Thanks for the stuff. Resourceful rat. You son of a... I really needed a weapon there. <laughs> oh, I'm so mad, and all I can do is laugh to try and disguise it. All right. This is going to be an absolute trash fire of a fight. Well, at least it's Cannon Balrog. Never mind. I got myself stuck in a corner there. That's how I usually end up taking damage in this fight, getting myself stuck in that corner. The other attack patterns I'm pretty good with. And I'll stay out here. Thank you very much. Yeah, you just need to stay far away from this one. The bullets end up spreading out to the point that it's totally easy. Oh my god. Okay, so the enemy's bullet 
hit a lamp on the air, uh, hit a lamp, rather. And then killing that lamp filled the ground below me with oil. And then I lit that oil on fire and it lit me on fire. That is such a weird way to take damage or almost take damage there rather because I did manage to roll out of it. Okay, and again. Now, with a speed up, I'm like really, really, really reasonable at dodging these bosses. Apparently, my reflexes have just kicked back in. Okay. Jolter is a good weapon. I like it. I like it a lot. We're we'll throwing two weapons away here. Um, I'm actually going to throw Flame Hand and Betrayer's Shield. Primarily because they're both green tier, so I'll get a green tier weapon back, and there are a lot of really good green tier weapons, both room and boss clearers. Eh, Rubidine. Not bad. Room clearer, probably. I would take frost bullets, but I can't. Now, I did find a secret room in this room. Two pieces of armor. Not bad, not bad. Doesn't make up for the HP that I lost against the boss, but still... All right, so between Electrodyne and Jolter, Jolter is more of a room. Rubidine is more of a boss, I guess, in my opinion, at the very least. Look, things I say aren't necessarily the truth, but to me, in that circumstance and for my playstyle, oftentimes they are. So for some of y'all, I will have just committed blasphemy by saying that I appreciate one of these weapons more than the other. And that's okay, y'all. We don't all play the same way. I recently spoke to someone who said that they like the Crescent Crossbow. I know they like the Crescent Crossbow. I didn't believe them either. You crazy for that one, Case. Kaze, sorry. Agonizer number one down. Second Agonizer will be the completion of Frightful's quest. I'm effectively, at this point, just using double vision to try and save myself ammo. Okay. I don't actually really like Gunslinger's Ashes. I mean, it's really good in boss fights. Well, certain boss fights. I'll keep it. I like it in the Lich fight, personally. I think it's real good against the first phase of the Lich. Because they fire automatically upon whatever target they find. And that makes them really good at crowd controlling the Lich's summons. And you can also fire them without really caring about your own positioning or your own aim or anything like that. They'll just make their way in that general direction and get to the Lich eventually. Which is the same as me. I'll just make my way in that general direction and at the very least, hopefully, I'll make my way to the Lich. The secret real end boss of the game. Now, I know there's going to be more from this update. But for the moment, it is what I recognize as the secret real end boss of this game. Okay, and... Oh, gosh. Uh, that was some fancy footwork there, but it's not going to be enough now, is it? Oh, no, it is. Cool. <laughs> I was worried I was going to end up taking damage there, despite the fancy footwork. Now, this is a gold farm, if I've ever seen one. Oh, and another gold farm on the other side of the map. Hell yeah. I love how the Jolter has so much pushback that we kind of just bully them around the room. <laughs> He's good fun. Alright. Uh, 
We've got a problem, boss. We don't really have a bunch of freedom of movement around this room until we kill the Agonizer in the center, which is why I targeted it, despite the fact that it was getting buffed. Thankfully, we had double vision. Oh, hell yes. Uh, let's refill the Jolter because it's almost out. That ammo drop was really clutch. I was so certain it wasn't going to fire. Like, I didn't even care to look at the map. Look at the map. Look at the screen. I was just taking it by feel and instinct. Which you'll only ever realize when that's not working. Oh, God. One sec. I need to mute the microphone to clear my throat. <laughs> I didn't mute the microphone, did I? Shh. I have a cold. A real bad cold. Damn it. I almost always remember to mute the microphone when I have to make a disgusting sound in the middle of recording to clear my throat. Or my nose, as the case may be. Almost always. But again, you'll only ever realize when I don't. See? It, it was a thematic trend. I'm just trying to reinforce my previous point. It's definitely not a mistake I made. Uh, mass shotgun? Yeah. I like it as both a room and a boss clearer. The thing is, I had mass shotgun and double vision last run, so this is looking very familiar already. It's still possible there's other shops on this floor, so we'll hold off on picking that up. We don't necessarily need it yet. It'd be nice, but we don't necessarily need it yet. Ugh. I hate trap rooms so much. Oh, boy. This whole room is just circle strafe, circle strafe, circle strafe, circle strafe. If you don't have any speed, so you can't outrun the projectiles from death, which we're capable of doing because we have speed from Hastened, the D20 shrine on the first, second floor. If you don't have that, you just roll into death's projectiles like I just did. And life is easy. Probably prematurely doubled my damage in that room. Let's try and make some use of it. Awesome. Unfortunately, these guys don't get hit by the buzz source, so there's no fun shenanigans of bullying them into that. So I've seen what? Two green chests this entire run. One was the flame hand and the other one was a stolen item. Hmm, not going great. Ooh. Big boy is a big boy though. Ooh. Okay. Oh, there's a cage on this level as well. So I've got to remember to keep a key. Oh, it just unlocks it. Okay. <gasps> is that a... It is. It's a dog. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> I love dogs so much. All right. I'll be opening this. And... Chaos bullets taste the rainbow gives a random effect to a couple of your bullets. Not super keen on it, to be honest. Alright, back to Jolter and Rubidine. Well, Jolter for an extraordinarily, extraordinarily rather short amount of time. Actually, okay, we're going in here. There's no space below, so we're on the hollow. Cool. Uh, this is probably the high priest. It could also be kill pillars. If it's kill pillars, big boy is insane. Frankly, big boy is insane either way. We're going to go take big boy. 
We'll also check if this is a secret room. It is not. All right. It's probably. Okay, never mind. It is big boy. We just got to call down a nuclear bomb on them. Obviously, named after the one dropped in World War II. Or at the very end of World War II, at least. Okay. Well, not directly named after them because that was Fat Man and Little Boy. This is a big boy. If you can kill all of these kill pillars at the same time, by the way, you actually manage to skip the next phase of the fight where they become one kill pillar. Unfortunately, I was incapable of doing that. Okay. So it was the cannon Balrog last floor that I took damage against. Damn. And the Gunslinger's Ashes polish off the fight for me. That's a lot of hedge mini credits, my friends. Save that for later. I <laughs> get the... Oh, the Cactus Gun. At the very least, Cactus Gun is really good for one thing, and that's for looking for secret rooms because it has so much ammunition and a very quick fire rate. If you're wondering why I'm not picking up the hedge mini credits, they automatically pick themselves up when you leave the room, so it really doesn't matter. Oh, hey, buddy. You set me free. I never thought I'd escape from that cell. Anyway, I'm Tonic. Tonic the Sledge Dog. <laughs> <laughs> I like that a lot. Look for me up in the breach if you ever want to go a little faster. I effectively gave that NPC a pitched down version of my impression of uh, the Choose Goose from Adventure Time. Well, howdy there. It's the Choose Goose. <laughs> um, all right. I'm going to peace out of here. I guess cactus, the cactus is actually going to become my room to room weapon. There's no way there's actually... No, there is ammo in here and I did miss it multiple times. Also, I knew that was going to be a secret room to the south. Just another free key. Let's get free key. And ammo for... Rubidine's just not accurate enough for room-to-room -room usage. Is it more accurate than the Jolter? It is more accurate than the Jolter. Does it have more ammo? It has the exact same. All right, we'll refill the Rubidine. Whew. This next floor could be a problem. <sighs> All right. Just got to pace myself. And remember to alternate between my actives. All right. Uh oh. Oh. Yep. I'm actually going to blank that. Why am I going to do it? For no good reason. I just really don't want to take damage yet, frankly. My armor isn't precious. I don't need to keep my max HP. There's no severe loss that I would be taking for taking damage in this room. And I should have just saved the blank for the boss at the end of the floor. All of those are true factors. But it ultimately didn't change my play. Definitely got to refill that Jolter now. I 
I should be holding off the big boy until rooms that really warrant it. But at the same rate, I don't want to fall victim to too good to use syndrome and then just never use it. I think this is kind of the happiest medium that I can strike. Morning. Double vision. Whoa, save you for later. Can I not? Oh, I guess there isn't a later anymore. <laughs> that makes sense. They're not going to give you a bunch of supplies of hearts on bullet hell. Hell yes, for the full refuel there, by the way. Okay. On. Let's get him. I think I may have taken like three hits this total run, I think, so far. The de-rusting is clearly working. I think back in my old Gungeon days, I did have a run where I took no hits, but I can't entirely recall. I might be thinking of someone else. Okay, and... Yeah, I'll just open it. Hell yes! Hexagon is amazing. I love it. So, 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 so much. All right. Mm. All right, I'm actually going to go for Rubidine with Hexagon on the offhand. And that's Hexagon for the ability to shoot distant targets. Like here, Hexagon is going to be really good. It's effectively a sniper rifle that does a wee bit more damage, I believe, but it also has an ability to transmogrify, which is to turn an enemy into a chicken, which just stops them from doing whatever they were doing. So it's kind of like an instant kill. Like that. And yes, it can happen to jammed enemies. And yes, you can have jammed chickens. Cool. Whoa, new shrine. Okay. An ominous... An ominous fountain filled with blood. It isn't quite full. Make a sacrifice, lose it. Obviously. I lost... I lost a heart container. Kalaba ma shakti die. And it's actually not even telling me the effect. I'm not faster. I've got to guess that's more damage. Oh, God. Um. Those enemies had, like, an aura around them for some reason. I feel like I may have accidentally done something that's, like, a not good thing to do. Oh dear. Why do I feel like a huh? made a horrible mistake? Get him. Well, I'm not gonna have much uh, much H HP by next floor. really don't know what's different about these enemies. Are they weaker? Do they have lower HP or something like that? Now, I could refill the siren, but I probably should. Rather than just 70 shots in the Rubidine. Thankfully, I'm fast enough that I can just run away from these projectiles. Oftentimes, this room is real frustrating for people. Okay. 
This guy will give us a reward if we can find the entire map for them. I know it's not heroic. I'm not shooting at you. I'm shooting near you. Whoa, hang on. That rune doesn't deactivate anymore after you finish it? That's wild. Get him. And again. Once more. For the road. I should have been using double vision a lot more commonly here. Severely underutilizing a lot of the benefits I have in this run. All right, what does this do? Clown mask, anonymity aid. Now I've got another friend. Okay. Hello, clown friend. What? Mm. Nope. Mm. Nope. Gosh, I can't shoot straight. Easy doing, though. Obviously, you can't transmogrify bosses, by the way. Just in case that was something that immediately popped to mind. key. Okay, so you're not going to be hampered. Oh, hell yeah. Stout bullets as well as rad gun. Both of those are really good. Rad gun, if you reload it at the right time, uh, you can increase its damage to ridiculous proportions. And stout bullets uh, increases the size of your bullets, makes them do more damage up close and less damage far away, if I recall correctly. Uh, I could be error checked on that. I, I'm not entirely certain or confident with my answer there. Damn it. Took damage there. I definitely didn't need to take. Oh, man. Just die. Damn it. Whoa. Okay. This fight's actually a lot harder than it usually is. This guy's summoning a lot of help in. Has way higher HP. And summoned a hammer. Like, damn, dude. Chill out. Well, that's a that's a mimic I've ever seen one. Okay, so this uh, anonymity friend is blanking stuff for me. So it's an owl. It's an owl that doesn't shoot. Iron coin, Vala Morghulis. Uh, it's unfortunate that I have to take these other two down to the next floor. So I'm actually just going to flip the iron coin three times. Valamogulus. Those flips will just kill other rooms. All right, map has been completed. So you again, how's the mapping coming along? You should take this ammo belt. Ammo capacity up in all weapons by like 10%. Yeah, it's okay. I should take either stout bullets or the rad gun. It's definitely the rad gun. I don't know what weapon I should use for this boss. By the way, this is the rad gun. You reload it at the right time and it gets ridiculous. But if you miss it, it loses its damage. It increases its damage ridiculously, but if you passively reload it, that is to say swap away from it and then swap back to it when it's reloaded itself passively in your inventory, it actually lowers its damage back down. Not to the base damage, but to like 20 or something like that. Not, not a particularly high amount of damage. So you have to actively reload it constantly if you want to get the consistent benefit of that gun. Savvy? Savvy.
Yeah, I shouldn't have done that like that. I should have just dodged them in a better way. Um, I'm going to have Cactus on my offhand now so that I have the ability to deal with those a little bit better on. Okay, Big Boy is going to come up first before Double Vision... Now, Big Boy can also be used as a blank to clear the room. That's one of the reasons Big Boy is so good. So I'm going to wait for an attack pattern that I actually don't want to fight. Like that. <sighs> All right. See how they're not doing that much damage? This is why I don't like this gun that much. I'll use the Needler there, happily. All right, next gun. We I don't want to have to actively reload in the middle of a fight. I prefer to use that as a room-based weapon. So I'm going to go Rubidine and this. Okay. The key to dodging that attack is just to start a step away from it. If you move super far away from it, it will move really, really quickly after you, and then you're just boned. I just screwed that up ridiculously for myself there. Started stepping here, as you can see. Also, if you can start on one side of the map and end on the other, you're going to make that much simpler for yourself. All right, we're in the second phase of the fight. We're still taking no damage. This is pretty good. I could three cycle it with the Jolter, or I could probably two cycle it if I hit my rad gun reloads while I'm cool. trying to get through this. All right, I missed it. Cool. All right, I might actually two cycle it still. Probably going to need the hexagon involved though. Yeah, I just checked, and I do still have a blank available. I'm going to use it there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the rest of those dodges are pretty easy. Yes! All right. So we're one round short of getting all five. Damn. Not a lead god now. But I have been in the past, so it's okay. <sighs> the room clearing potential of the big boy is going to be like I, I don't mean necessary I mean essential next floor absolutely essential Okay, Hexagon Jolter. Nope, we're going to be using the Rad Gun. Two, three, four, five. All right, I can get it to five easily. Six, it should be basically one-shotting everything at this point. Mm -hmm. See what I mean? Okay, now it's on seven. It should be doing like 47, 47 damage right now. Uh, for reference, most like explosive, wow. Most explosive RPGs do less than that. Do like 40. Wow. 
Damn it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Getting up to five is going to be enough. I don't know why I keep trying to do it. That was four again. One, two, three, four. This is still enough to basically one-shot anything. Okay, and... Beautiful. This is also the absolute shortest path on the map so far, so I feel good about that. One... Three. Last time we got the shortest path plus one. Extra room completed that we didn't need to complete. Okay. That actually counts as a passive reload, doesn't it? I'm just going to use that to kind of insta-kill everything in this room. Just because of how terrifying it can be to try and get through this entire room without taking any damage there. I think I may have healed by killing an enemy. Because I haven't picked up a half heart. So some... Oh my god. I think... Killing enemies that have the red border gives me health back. That's what that's what that is. Kali Ma, blood of your enemies. Yep. Yeah, it's definitely that. Alright, we'll prove it in just a second as soon as we see our next bloody enemy. Okay. Maybe it's a chance to heal off of them? I should refill the hexagon. I'm going to be using it a lot in the boss fight because I want to stay as far away from my enemies as is humanly possible. Yeah, this gun passively reloaded while I didn't have it out. And as a result, it's not doing the same amount of damage anymore, despite the ha 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 ha, you son of a... Despite the fact that I've still definitely taken the same... Oh, gosh. Got to change gun now. Despite the fact that it's still been reloaded like eight times in a row at that point, I think. Okay, I definitely don't seem to be healing off of them anymore. No, I definitely think I healed off of one of them just then. I saw an animation that I was taking some HP. Maybe you have to be within a certain range to do it? Yeah, I definitely took some HP from that. Well, not HP. I don't think I actually healed there. But I definitely took some essence from that character. So I definitely need to kill the red ones up close. Maybe it effectively functions like the Kapala from Spelunky. That would make thematic sense. I'd be, I mean, you get those from the Shrines of Kali. This looks like it's a good path so far. Don't let me down, video game. Yep. 
we we took the exact shortest path that we could have taken to get here. I am I'm not proud, but I am happy. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we'll aim for six before we go into the boss fight. I'll try and use double vision as well. As soon as we reloaded, there was going to be a problem anyway. So I'm basically waiting for the boss to try and summon here. At which point, I'll drop the other foot and use the big boy. I'm actually just going to use it there to kind of blank a lot of those attacks. Whew. End of that fight with a perfect amount of... Excellent. With a perfect amount of ammunition left in the hexagon. Yeah, I was never going to reload that correctly while trying to do that dodge. That's just dumb that I tried, frankly. Yep. They curve towards you, I swear. Thankfully, I've still got the big boy for next fight. As like a sudden blank, basically. Which is good, because there's parts of the next fight where I'm definitely going to want to blank. Good. So two hearts to fight the final section of the Lich. I mean, it can be done. It's not that difficult, but... I've beefed up easier things before. Okay, unfortunately, in this fight, poison on the ground is still invisible, which makes life real difficult. And that'll do it. Hell yeah! With exactly our final shot of the hexagon as well. Ch -ch <laughs> Garbage start in time. Whoa, that's a skeleton. Uh, hello, skeleton. That's not that character. Usually, it's the robot's alternate skin that's a skeleton. Regardless. Hell yeah. Hey, it's a skeleton sprite through and through. Does it always do that? Is that an update thing? We won't know. Until sometime in the future. Until then, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Enter the Gungeon. That has been a win with the pilot, despite eh, some pretty bad items in the early game. But at the very least, they came good in the end. The big boy in particular, as well as the rad gun, helped us carry ourselves through the final floor without running out of ammunition. All right, well... Let's return to the breach and see if there's anything for sale. As the convict, who's going to be our next character. Yep, two things for sale. Let's get them. The devolver rounds as well as the snow ballet. Anything up here? 
Nothing. And you know what? I also want to find out what Sonic does. I have to imagine Sonic's going to be up in this room because that's where... Uh-huh. There's a bunch of space. I feel like things are going a little slow around here. If I feel like rolling around at the speed of sound, wanna go fast? Radical, I think everything is fast enough though. Thanks, you're too slow. Well, I guess you're too slow. Is that a reference? Oh my God. That's a reference to a line that, can't remember the name of the hedgehog. It's not Shadow, is it? It's, it's like a, a completely white hedgehog foe. But it's, it's the... That's what they say in Sonic 06 when they hit you. You're too slow. You're too slow. And it became a meme because it, it, it was possible to lock the game in position where the enemy could constantly hit you and you could do nothing about it, but you would always collect the one ring they knocked out of you. So you were just stun locked for eternity. Anyway... Random Sonic Go 6 fact there for you. My name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Enter the Gungeon. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There's a playlist in the description down below with all my contents on this game, past, present, and future, and hopefully we'll see you next time.